Freedom Convoy, truckers cause chaos in Ottawa after second day of protests. Dozens of truckers arrived in Ottawa over the weekend as part of a so-called Freedom Convoy, protesters against a, a vaccine mandate for truckers crossing the U.S.-Canada border have brought Canada's capital city to, to stand still for a second day. Thousands of demonstrators joined the so-called Freedom Convoy in Ottawa. Police say they are investigating allegations of illegal activity by some demonstrators, including the appearance of swastika flags. Defense Minister Anita Anand said some protesters' actions have been beyond reprehensible. Uh, the Chief of Canada's Defense Staff, General Wayne Isle, also hit out against some of the demonstrators, saying they had been sickened by footage of a woman dancing naked on the tomb of the unknown soldier. The Tower Police said in a Twitter post that several investigations are now underway into the dis discretion of a number of monuments in the capital city, city as well as threatening illegal intimidating behavior to police, city workers, and other individuals that damage the city vehicle. Elsewhere across the city, truckers blocked the streets around Canada's Parliament building and the Tower's Mayor Jim Watson said some protesters had arrested at a soup kitchen demanding free meals after they were turned away by restaurants for the refusal to comply with indoor mask mandates. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his family were also forced to leave their homes in a tower over safety concerns on Saturday. Around 9% of Canada's 120,000 cross-border truckers are now vaccinated, far above the national average of 79%, but the demonstrators have pledged to continue their protests until the mandate is removed. Mr. Today called the protesters a small French minority union interview earlier this week, but the leader of Canada's opposition conservative party, Erin O'Toole, has expressed his support.